Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two. My glass is dirty. Let me clean these. I'm trying to look all hipster for the vid. For the video. Sorry if my makeup doesn't look that fresh. It's actually 4.30. I just got off work, you know. I freshed up my face just like a tad bit. Like when I say tad bit, I literally tapped my nose because my nose was oily and shiny. You guys know how that can be. So yeah, that's what I did. Do I look cute with these on or too much glare, I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm do without these today. Yeah, we gonna do without them. Hi guys, my name's Kaya. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a review on another wig. I'm loving these wig reviews and it seems like you guys really like the wig reviews too. That seems to be like the most viewed on my channel now, so. I'm really digging the wig reviews and I really like trying different hairstyles, you know what I'm saying? So today's video is brought to you by EbonyLine.com. Um, they actually sent me a wig to review on my channel for you guys, so I really hope you do enjoy it. This is the package right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the wig. I haven't even opened it yet, y'all. Like it, The box was cracked open, so I'm not even sure which wig it is yet. So. We're going to see which wig it is. So it's kind of like a surprise for you and for me. Well, for me, because you already know what it's called based off the, the, the title of the video. So, Okay, okay. So this is a newborn free lace wig. The style of this wig is the Magic U-Shape Lace Premium Hair, Human Hair 103 wig. And the color is DYX4 slash 613. It looks pretty darn blonde. So I'm excited for this blondness, okay? So what I can tell by this wig already is that it is a blonde color that I've never experienced in my life before. Literally never worn this blonde appear before. But the top of it looks to be black and then it fades into the blonde. So ombre effects wig. So we're just gonna go ahead and crack this baby open and get to trying it on so we can get some review stats on this wig. Okay. Y'all, this wig is so blonde. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm nervous. I'm gonna take that netting off. Oh my god. What am I gonna do with this blonde ass hair? Yo, yo. I'm excited, okay? So what we can tell from what I um, explained to you guys, yes, it is a newborn free wig, magic, magic lace newborn free wig, blended premium human hair, U-shaped lace wig, and then it looks like the lace in the front is an ex extra large and it's 4x4, four four, so it's like a really nice parting space. So it is a lace front. It actually isn't like a... Um, it's a frontal, so there's no parting in it. You can make your own natural parting, which I'm excited about. Um, let's see comes in plenty of colors like I'll put the different color options in the description box below but yeah they got like lots of lots of different color options let's see so it looks like you can um, it's a silk based lace part they do have washing instructions if you want to wash it um, it says to wash the hair with mild conditioning shampoo in cool in cold or warm water I never washed no synthetic wig before so well, well it's human hair actually I take that back it's human hair, so I take that back. Never washed it before, and if you guys would like to see me wash the wig, let me know, because that can be a chan um, video on my channel to see how that process went with washing the wig. Do not brush the hair from the top or middle portion. Like I've said in previous videos, when you have long wigs like this or synthetic wigs, you definitely want to start from the ends and work your way up, because if you start from the top, that's just going to cause it to tangle, it's going to cause it to tear, it's just going to mess up your wig in general. You start from the top of the roots, you want to start from the bottom. I'm gonna pull it up on their website. Let's see how much this wig runs for. One second. So this wig looks to run for $49.95 on their website. Currently, um, you'll save 40%, 46% off. This is what the wig looks like. It looks like it's about a good, 
gotta say 20 to 22 inches long which is my preference when I wear long hair if not I prefer for it to be right here so let's just go ahead and pop this baby on I'm gonna take this leg off I cut the lace off yet I'm going to apply it with the lace already being on there to see what it looks like first before I cut it off so just to go from the inside of the wig there's two combs in the front as well as one in the back so you can connect it to the back as well to the front to make sure there's no slip and slide action going on and also guys I have a big head so if it fits my head we in, we, we in the game you know we're in the game if it fits my head because I just know how big my head is oh god oh god this is blonde <gasps> it's a little snug I'm not gonna lie it definitely is a little snug even though it says it's an extra large oh my god I am blonde bitch I'm blonde I'm blonde what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut this lace off so that I can get it placed on my head correctly because with the lace it's kind of messed up a little bit and it's very snug on my head so it's kind of hard to get it to connect in the front so I'm gonna get this lace cut off and then apply it back onto my head one second so I got the lace cut off but do you see this right here there's a slight bit of a hump so what I'm going to do is take my flat iron to get this flattened down so that way we will have a nice flat surface because yes my hair is braided underneath but there isn't any like there's no hump in my head my braids are flat so this is just coming from the wig itself I take my flat iron. I'm going to turn the temperature down just because yes it is human hair but I'm not trying to damage it before I actually get to really really wear it. I'm going to turn the weather down a little bit so we can make sure you know that we don't damage the hair here so I'm just going to get that flattened down a little bit. Went ahead and added just a little bit of concealer and I just Honestly, all I did was just part it or with the part. So I wasn't going to pluck it or pull it or anything because it actually looks nice like like how it is. So I just lightened it up a little bit to make it look like it's actually growing from my roots and just add a little bit of concealer and then voila, we have a part, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, guys. So this is the completed process of getting the top of it flat in and getting it to fit on my big head. So the first thing I'm going to recommend is if you have a bigger head, might not be for you because it's really snug on my head and I, I'm telling y'all like I got a big head. Like I don't have an average size head. It might look like it on camera, even though I know it doesn't, but I don't. But however, this color, I'm kind of living for. I've never tried it before, but the more I keep looking at myself in the mirror, I'm like, okay, okay. The quality though, the quality though, this wig, y'all, I don't know. Like maybe I'm just getting a slight bit, I ain't gonna push my look, but the wigs I've been getting lately, like I really enjoy them. Like this is a human hair wig, so it feels amazing. Like it doesn't have that coarse feel, doesn't have a synthetic feel, like it legit feels like when you buy some bundles and you make it into a unit or you wear them in your head, sold in, that's what it feels like. This wig feels amazing. Like I'm literally giving it two thumbs up. I'm feeling the color the more I look at myself in it, and I'm like okay this is cool I like it so when I combed it I did start from the ends to comb it out and then I worked my way up it hasn't been tangling like at all and it hasn't shed it at all so you know how we feel about the shedding hair girl I would definitely like to try this wig in other colors this this color right now and for it to be this light because you know like once you go to lighter colors that's when the hair texture can kind of get a little funky but this color it feels like so soft so soft i would wear this wig out every day of course but you know depending on the event and depending on like how i'm supposed to dress or what i'm wearing i would wear this wig so i recommend it for sure if you want to try something different that has so many color options like i said i'll put those color options in the description box below so guys if you like this wig definitely check out ebonyline.com and i'll put the description information in the box below so that way you'll be able to click the direct link to go straight to their website to be able to view this wig and the other color options that they have thanks guys so much for watching this video if you like it please make sure you thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well there's so many more videos coming for you guys like 
you just don't even know. Love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!